welcome this is the energy vibration reading for you um scorpion sun moon and rising and i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back don't worry about my hair i'm just having a bad hair week <laughs> um it's gonna be um a really 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 weird year for you guys it's okay it's not weird it's just that I have never seen this before in such a, a strange way okay you have the wheel of fortune so it's going to be a positive year let's not be so negative it's going to be a very positive year and a lot of stuff is happening um, because your birthday is running from the sixth okay so for the people who were born November 6 until um, let's look and see November 6 until November 12 so if your birthday falls between the time of November 6 until November 12 a lot of stuff will be happening to you in um, in this year because this year you have the wheel of fortune which is good which is um, it's just that the energies that comes out um, around this wheel of fortune it's a lot of stuff that you guys are going to be working on a lot of stuff so um, as I look as I look at um, this week this week is going to be the week of hair it has been um, um, a long time since we have the energy of the week of hair so it's going to be a week of hair so it's like magical things and and whatever that was injustice that has been you know has been going on in your life and the unbalances of certain things it's going to be um, actually um, good so whatever has been happening in your life uh, say for the last couple of years that was injustice is going to come good so this is the weekly reading of the week number 45 it is the second week of November 2017 and I want to say thank you for all your supports and likes and shares thank you and again I'm apologizing for all the people who have reached out to me for readings and the readings have been late or they haven't come as yet I am the only person that does the readings and um, I was so busy so my apology again I want to say thank you for all the newcomers welcome I hope you will stay um, this is a different sort of reading so I hope you will resonate with it and sometimes re readings resonate with people sometimes it doesn't resonate with people but sometimes there is a message in there for you okay this is a week of hair we haven't had a hair week in a very long time we have been having the fire energies um, because we're coming down to the end of 2017 the zodiac energy and what is happening is that this is just um, this is creating so much energies and that sort of a thing because it's, it's a lot of cleansing and you guys are beginning your year of 2017 you have justice that is going to carry you through the year and the wheel of fortune so a lot of people that have been having injustice in their life that's sort of a thing you are going to realize that the energy of justice is going to help you through this coming year after your birthday so your birthday is from September from November 6 until November 12 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and um, it's gonna be wonderful because if you were going through a lot of injustice and unjust things you are going to realize that the energy of justice is going to come in this is going to move you to some place that is much better um I wanted to use this deck but I'm hoping um, that all the cards are in this deck so as we look um, for the people who were born um, on the six you have the energy of strength but it is also the energy of the infinity um, universe and with the energy of the infinity universe you have the wheel of fortune and justice helping you so this is going to be good whatever um, that has happened whatever situation that has played in your life um, for some time whatever situation that has played in your life for some time um, 
that is going to be clearing up now whatever lies that has been told because you know there are people who are un unrealistic there are really people who are so lying um, and I'm amazed that you know um, adults lie so much I would expect kids but um, I'm amazed that adult lies so much <laughs> but anyway um, so what is happening here is that there's a lot of people who have been dishonest and has work against you and now the energies are coming up to clear that so you are now beginning your year 2000 and um, you're beginning your year 2017 because this is um, right after your birthday you are beginning the year 2017 okay so um, this is what is happening um, a whole lot of people are going to be having a lot of um, people are going to be uh, getting married and a lot of people are going to be um, connecting with other people um, in business relationship and getting married yeah and a lot of people are some will be divorcing okay some some will be getting married some will be divorcing and some are going to have very good business contracts and some contracts are ending okay so this is a positive energy with a wheel of fortune to, to receive because this is a lot of luck coming in so we're going to look at the people who were born on the um, 6 of November you have the energy of strength the wheel of fortune and justice working with you in this year of 2017 and what is happening here is that the energy of strength you're going to um, look within and find that inner strength within you because there is a lot of lies and a lot of stuff that is going on people are lying people are eating and this is the energy that you're going to find yourself going through but it's a karmatic situation that you need to deal with there's a lot of jealousy and hate that is going on so be aware of these people and a lot of jealousy and hate and it's amazing because you know I really had hoped that the energy would have changed that people would have released themselves of jealousy and hate but I'm seeing it like every day as um, that people you know you know I don't think they're ever gonna change if you ask me okay so here we are this is the year um, that you're seeing so a lot of hate a lot of jealousy um, a lot of things that are happening that you thought now seriously I would have hoped for something better in my life it's a year that you are going to be dealing with a lot of karmatic situation as we move on um, for the people who were born on the 7th of November congratulations you have the hermit it is going to be a very quiet year where you're going to look within you're going to find the inner truth of who you are you're going to learn to connect with yourself you're going to learn to understand yourself more it's going to be a really nice quiet year this is a year of spirituality and this is a year when you connect with yourself to find out who you are if you are married to someone who is an Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius this um, relationship is either going to come to an end or it's going um, as this person remove out of your life your your life is going to become better see this person needs to remove out of your life and then you're going to see how beautiful your life become because this person has been blocking your luck and he's now in a reverse form so you're seeing that he's in a reverse form and now your luck is going to come out okay this person has been lying and deceiving and a lot of stuff so if you are married to someone and your marriage has ended you're going to see how much your life so if you are married to an Aries and Leo or Sagittarius and it has ended you're going to see now how beautiful your life is going to flow so this is a good message for you guys who were born on the seven again happy birthday 
happy happy birthday to the people who were born on the 8th the 8th of um, November the 8th is the infinity sign there's a lot of uh, um, the universe is going to bless you guys in different ways because there's twice the number eight um, in this sign so it's gonna be good oh we're going to go on okay so that was a good sign for you guys who were born on the eight because you have the wheel of fortune you have also the nine of pentacles and good news is going to be coming so this is good so if you're in a business if you're doing business um some people are going to have receive unexpected money the nine of pentacles is here good news is coming about the situation whatever is happening a very very good news is coming um you are going to be some people are going to be recognized for whatever they're doing some people are going to have promotions um, some people are going to win the lottery and some people are just going to be um, just have a lucky streak so if you were born on the 8th of November this is going to be a very good year for you guys because um, the energy is showing that the wheel of fortune is here the nine of Pentacles and good news is on its way as we move forward and we are you know trying to find the energies for the people who were born on the 10th of November we have the energy of justice so if you were born on the 10th of November you're going to have the energy of justice for the people who have legal situations you are going to win and a lot of people seems to have legal situations um, against someone who is an Aries Libra or a Gemini you're going to win and you're going to win big okay whatever the situation is um, this year is going to be a year that whatever on justice is going to be justified and you are going to have the inner strength you're going to have people you're going to have powerful people who are going to stand up against this person and whoever this person is um, you know they are going to be defeated because people are going to come in and step in and help you um, because of the injustice that has happen and that this person has calls you injustice and for the rest of the people um very powerful people in authority are going to be helping you um to kind of figure out and to help you out of situation that has been um you know um you know affecting you for the rest of the people this is going to be a wonderful year because you are going to find balance in your life and balance in everything around you for the people who have situation with these hair sign people don't forget you are a water sign person so what is happening is that um, you don't go really well with air sign people okay and whatever the situation is know that the power of the universe and your guides and angels are going to come in it's going to be a very powerful year because whatever that is injustice whatever that was unjust in your life is going to be balanced out um, happy birthday to the people who were born on the 9th you have the Empress this is going to be a very wonderful year in your materialistic endeavor if you're planning on buying a house it's going to happen if you're planning on moving it's going to happen if you're plan planning on getting a car it's going to happen whatever materialistic uh, things you want it's going to happen for you your emotions is also going to be in balance it's as if information is going to come to you and finally your emotion is going to be balanced materialistic things all the things you need is going to come to you in all the different forms people are going to be helping you situations are going to be coming at you and um, it's going to be good opportunities you or yourself your emotions is going to be really balanced and all that you need in the form of materialistic it is going to happen for you it's going to you know wonderful things are going to be coming in your life so if you need money to go back to school to study if you need um, 
to have a job whatever you need that has to do with the basis of you living um, a, a good place to live um, financial help to take care of your kids and that sort of a thing it is going to happen okay it's a little bit dark in here isn't it um, okay <laughs> um, I need to turn the lights on okay so whatever is happening it's going to be good you have no reason to worry because it's going to be extremely extremely good so um here we go still to um, tell you that I'm still moving <laughs> but it's quiet so and I'm so apologizing for the last time there's so many um, sounds in the video since <laughs> January but I've um, um, relocated so that's why okay for the people who were born on the 11th you have the energy of the um, the heavenly gods and the heavenly gods is organization authority um, you know that sort of a thing and what has happened here is that you are going to have situation with groups of people that is coming in and these groups of people they this is karmatic situation that you need to clear with these groups of people so organization the hospital the doctors just think the, the insurance company so you will have that sort of a situation with people and it's going to affect and see it's it comes up twice and this is it I've been getting double whammy so it is and this is a situation that is going to affect the men it's going to affect most of the men um, if you're 40 and over and you're going to have a lot of situation with organizations this is going to play a role in your life this year It's as if you need to clear certain karmatic lessons and certain karmatic issues and situation with people around you and they are going to be in organization so the men is going to be very much so affected more than the women in this year um, the women are going to be protected by organization or authority governments and that sort of a thing government or, or, or um, government place and that sort of a thing but for the men you are going to have a problem but the women are going to be protected it's not as if you're going to have a problem but their situation that you have to resolve with these people okay so it can be hospitals um, it can be your insurance company it can be a mortgage company you know it can be various various different different situation but it's good it's a good year for the women because you're going to be protected by these organization and these government authority and that sort of a thing okay for the people who were born on the 12th happy birthday because you have oh you have the energy um, hold on oh it was the Emperor I am so sorry for um, for the energy of the people who were born on the 11th of November and this is uh, it's going to affect all the men and especially in business because business dealings is going to affect most of the men so I guess my message was yeah they're saying the message was correct what I gave because you have um, to deal with um, authority and like business people you have to deal with a lot of people um, people in high position people um, who works in authority fields okay because it's mostly the Gemini's and the cancers and that sort of a people always work in organization but here you have uh, that's happening and now we have again um, the energy of um, the the elephant and he comes up in this deck as uh, the heavenly um, master and uh, a whole lot of you uh, especially people you people who are born on the 12 there is going to be a breakdown there is going to be a breakdown whatever blocks that was there with um, government situation organization that sort of a thing the blocks are going to be removed it's going to be finally removed because the tower comes and it is removing the block that has been happening and that has been placed it's as if um, for some people I see that other people had blocked you and lie 
um, in an organization or with something it's as if people were trying to um, people were trying to do something to you it's as if um, you know something and they're trying to make you look bad that sort of a thing but anyway um, it's as if the truth comes out and um, the the right people know what it was happening and that sort of a thing so they were trying to block you from moving forward and then the tower came and the organization is as if the organization finally finally see what was going on because it's as if people so this is this is good because whatever that was blocking you all the blocks that you had in your life it's going to be removed all the blocks that was in your life is now going to be removed so let's say that your life hasn't been moving forward for quite some time because of some groups or organizations and most of the time it's the, as if you leave um, um, a work and then um, people um, give um, false and uh, false and incorrect information that wasn't true and then as if your new um, the place that you're now working is realizing that it's not true you know it's as if they lied about something and then people are seeing that it wasn't true so um, th they blocked you because they tried to build a negative build of you and now that negative build this block is now moving away and this is good so overall if I look at your year I'm really seeing that um, it, 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 it is a year of a lot of cleansing a lot of cleansing you're cleansing a lot of stuff with a lot of people you're moving away and moving out away from certain things and certain aspects and you are trying to figure out um, the way forward and this is going to be good um, for you guys this is going to be extremely good because you have the wheel of fortune and you have the rings so a lot of you are going to be getting married but yet still some of you are going to be getting divorced and good contract good business contract especially for the people who were born on the 11th so if you were born on the 11th there's a lot of business contract that is going to be happening for you there's a lot of good um, connection work connection and that sort of a thing that is going to be happening for you so wonderful situations are going to be coming out and this is extremely good because the energy of the ring is over um, your luck and the luck with the energy of the ring that means that good business contract if you're looking for promotion if you're looking for work this is going to happen and this is going to be very good the only thing I'm saying um, is for um, all of you to understand that it depends on what you focus on it depends on what you're looking for it depends on how you're changing your energy vibration and if you're changing it to a very positive one then you are going to see that wonderful positive things are going to come up in your life and this is very good because um, you you know the world need to have positive things happening in their life because as we look around each day we're seeing that there is so many things that is happening which is you know so unjust and um, by each and every one of us changing the way we think and the way we think and do things because a lot of us tend to and you need to release this energy because a lot of people tend to um, judge other people without knowing it things and you can hear and get messages from other people but um, you know people lie people lie for various reasons people lie when they realize that they're going to be in problems so what is happening in this year for you guys is that a lot of stuff especially whatever that has been blocking and and stunting your growth it's going to be removed gradually gradually as you come out of 2017 because you're now beginning the year 2017 you're going to see wonderful wonderful situations and the card that I have for you guys is happy 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 joy 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 I love using the energy of the wisdom card I can't remember if I'd use them last week because I've, um, I've moved and all my stuff is all over the place I haven't even um, packed out because I have been going I've been going and going and going so 
happy 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 joy 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 um, joy and contentment uh, a sense of fulfillment a feelings that all is well your desires are effortless uh, and fulfilled now find joy in the present moment whatever is happening and be satisfied with things as they are you're free from the shackles of longing and are able to experience the uh, liberation that comes from actually being happy in happy moments and choosing now is the time for feelings of joy for the sake of joy and experiencing contentment none of this is because of anything outside of you your happiness in this year is going to be resulting of your own being at one spirit plan for your life all is well the tide is in now enjoy playful smash so this is actually going to be a year of resolving and solving certain situation but yet still luck is here and all the lies the aids the backstabbing and all of that is going to be removed out of this year and you're going to end this year on a very very happy note and to find happiness you have to find happiness within you can't look outside for happiness because you when we look outside for happiness and we're looking for someone else to make us happy we'll never be happy we need to start working on ourselves and this is a year that you're going to work on yourself because at the end of the year you're going to end up being happy 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 joy 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 and this is a very funny because I actually always saying happy 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 joy 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 uh, and 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 my partner and I we're always when there is something <laughs> always happy 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 joy 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 so I am always saying this and the more you say things and believe in them you will see that these are the things which is positive whenever you say confirmation confirmation is power positive uh, um, things that you're saying to yourself and it is always going to end up on a positive note so I want to say to each and every person out there thank you for being here please like and share these videos please listen to your Sun Moon Horizon sign namaste until next time